cool. My name is Charles Johnson. I'm a musician and storyteller and that sort of thing. And uh, I was going to play some music for you guys tonight. But you know, Alan was a fan of storytelling. He had me come down to the Folk Song Society and tell stories one day. And he would come to see me tell stories here at Folk Heritage, or at the Pally Folk Circle. So I decided that I would tell stories for you tonight. That's what I'm going to do. Now, I bet you didn't know this, but once upon a time, when the world was new and not yet people, and walked upon only by animals, the moon was as bright as the sun, and the nighttime sky was as blue as cornflowers. The only welcome patch of shade came beneath a spreading tree or if a thundercloud happened to pass in front of the sun. But God came down to his animal children and he said, who will take this basket for me up to the house of the moon? Well, Mr. Bear said, I couldn't possibly take that basket up to the moon, for she is so far away that I can't reach her. And Mr. Eagle said, I can't take that basket up to the moon, for she is so bright that her light dazzles my eyes. But old Mr. Bat, he said, I can take that basket up to the moon, for I am blind and her light does not bother me. So God gave the basket to Mr. Bad, and it was a strange basket made of bent reeds with two handles and a tight-fitting lid. And it was so light, it felt like it was empty. And when it shaken, him, it didn't rattle. But Mr. Bad, he stretched out his leathery wings, and with one of his clawed feet, he grabbed hold of the basket, and he took off for the house of the moon. Now, although the basket was light, it was rather awkward. And after a while, Mr. Bad began to grow tired, so he shifted the basket from one foot to the other. And after a while still, he looped the handle around his neck. But just as he reached the brow of Moonshine Hill, directly below the house of the moon, he decided that he was tired and hungry. So he set the basket down and flew off to sip insects off the wind. But that basket sat there on that hilltop and it attracted quite a bit of attention. Old Mr. Fox, he came up over the hill and he saw the basket. And he wondered if maybe it had something good to eat inside of it. But when he picked it up, it was light, so he figured it was empty. Then Mrs. Cow, she came up over the hill and she saw the basket and wondered if maybe it had some grain in it. And so with her horn, she grabbed one of the handles and she gave it a shake. But it didn't rattle, so she figured it was empty. But when she dropped it, the lid came a little bit loose. Then Mr. Anteater, he came up over the hill and he saw the basket and wondered if maybe there were some ants inside of it. And with his long, thin nose, he was able to reach inside where the lid had come loose and he sniffed around. But the air inside was dank and billowy. And oh, I couldn't stand that. But when he pulled his nose out, the lid came a little more loose. Then Mrs. Monkey, she came down from the trees and she saw the basket and wondered if maybe it had some bananas in it. So it's where the lid had come loose. She reached inside with her little hand and she felt it down. But the air inside was cold and clammy and she pulled her hand out. Oh! And she put that lid back on nice and tight. And then Mr. Elephant, he saw the basket. And he went, or Mr. Elephant came up over the hill and he didn't see the basket. Instead, he just walked right into it. And he knocked it down the hill. And down the hill it went, end over end, until finally the lid popped off. And then out of the basket there came a thick, inky blackness that shot straight up into the sky, all the way up to the moon, and it turned her beautiful golden face into a tarnished silver. That darkness, it spread across the entire sky. It was the first darkness the world had ever known. It wasn't dappled like the light beneath the tree, nor was it gray like when a thundercloud passes in front of the sun. No, it was a thick, rich darkness so that Mr. Elephant couldn't see his trunk. Mrs. Monkey couldn't find her way back to the tree. Mr. Anteater couldn't see the black ants on the black ground. Mrs. Cow, she just stood stock still. She didn't know what to do. And Mr. Fox's eyes, they opened up like two tiny silvery moons. And when Mr. Bat came back, and he saw that the bag, he found that the basket had come open, he started to screech. He said, oh no, oh no. And his voice became so high that it can no longer be heard to this day. But he started to fly around the sky, trying to get the darkness back into the basket. But it had already gone too far, too fast. Now, whatever God's plans were for this basket of darkness, they had all now been undone. But to this day, as the darkness spreads across the sky, the descendants of Mr. Bat fly out from their caves and try and put the darkness back into the basket that was left so long ago. <laughs> 